Hello everybody, welcome back to another video game unboxing. Today here I have a double pack for the new Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet game. Um, today is 11-18-2022. It is uh, really late at night, but I decided to make this. Uh, hopefully, if in case you're thinking about maybe picking up the double pack. Um, I've noticed that this double pack is a lot harder to find than uh, the, like for example, Diamond and Pearl one. Um, I don't know why, maybe Pokemon released less, but yeah, um, here is the double pack, some of the extra things that you would get if you were picking it up from GameStop, and yeah, let's just get into it. So um, I pre-ordered this, uh, picked it up at midnight with some friends, um, here we have the new legendaries in the cover, being uh, Koridon, I think, and then uh, Miraidon, <laughs> Miraidon, or something like that. Um, Honestly, uh, I've not been that interested in Pokemon since Sword and Shield, which is, uh, the, this is the newest game in the series that's come out after three years, so it's been a while and uh, a lot of people are excited. Heard some negative things so far, but hopefully that's fixed up relatively soon. Honestly, I'm more worried about like the story mode not being great, and these legendaries look kind of weird. Uh, they look cool, but you ride them like motorcycles, which is kind of odd, but you know what? I'm giving it a chance. I collect all everything Pokemon, so... I was glad to pick this up. Um, this cost me around 120 bucks, I believe, with tax, so it was a little bit more. But um, yeah, uh, basically you get both games, you get some cool exclusives. Um, GameStop gives you some extra stuff, but honestly nothing crazy. I've been kind of uh, disappointed with the exclusives lately you know you used to get at least a poster and some other cool like figures and stuff like that now uh, basically if you order through GameStop in the North American market you got some pins these are really cool though I mean granted these are really really cool and I'm happy to have these but nothing really crazy as well as I guess if you're into this type of thing uh, I will keep be keeping this. this is a GameStop bag that has Scarlet and Violet, as well as like promotion of the OLED uh, switches and or all the switch lines. Here's the back. With all three starters. Which starter are you picking? I, I I think I have to go with a Coco. So cute, little crocodile dude. Uh, Totodile is one of my favorite Pokemon, so I was super stoked to see another uh, reptilian Pokemon or a crocodile or something like that. Anyways, um, Pokemon recently have been doing these kind of things where they have a double pack basically they'll include both games um kind of lame but they did the same thing uh for scarlet and violet basically the only difference apart from getting like an exclusive box that this is uh kept in you get 200 pokeballs in game uh codes like and, sorry an in-game code for 200 pokeballs you can tell it's kind of late i'm tired but um yeah really Nothing like crazy, but you know, I'm a collector. This is a great way to sell both games to a collector that won't play both games. I'll try it out. I mean, hopefully stick with it, but yeah. I'll open Nintendo, like always. And here are the two legendaries. Kind of a theme with both double packs where they show both Pokemons. But I do really like this cover. It is really, really cool looking. Here's the back. Okay, let me open it up. Uh, I'll pause the video and make sure I just open it up. Here I have it open. One thing I've been complaining terribly about these boxes is that they, this thing goes in deep. It goes down all the way to like here. If like you press it all the way down, and it's really hard to open. And honestly, as you can already see, it's kind of been already kind of uh, nicked and I'm super particular about the conditions of my box. Whoops. I say that and I just <laughs> do that. But, um, yeah, I kind of wish they wouldn't cut it this deep or make it as hard to open because they already have a crease. Um, yeah, uh, comes with both cases. I'll, I'll make sure not to show the, uh, the Pokeball code. finger over it. Here it comes. Basically you can redeem these two codes to uh, get a hundred Pokeballs. I, I, think, I think you get, I'm not sure if you can redeem both for one game or it has to be a hundred each, but 
yeah, here are both games. And yeah, this is what it comes with. I think I'm gonna play Scarlet first because one of my good friends has Violet. So he's like, hey, you know, I got Violet, you play Scarlet so we can trade uh, Pokemon to pay on the region. We can, you know, I can get the Pokemon that I can't get over, over there because even though the game is basically the same, it does have different Pokemons from what he was telling me. Yeah, you can tell I'm not that <laughs> versed in Pokemon recently, but I am excited for a new Pokemon game. It looks very cool on paper. Unfortunately, there has been some um, complaints about like frame rate drops and uh, quality not being so great. Uh, just running theme. They've done this again with Platinum and uh, Pearl, where sorry, not uh, Diamond and Pearl. They have like the region back here um, with the actual game cartridge. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I think. Pokemon has gotten extremely lazy, or uh, Switch in general has been super lazy with not including manuals or anything. <laughs> you basically just get a, a clear case. And if people are saying, well, I've never seen one with a manual, there are actually some games like Celeste has a really cool manual, Undertale has one too. So it's something they could include, but uh, maybe to save money they don't do it. It is kind of unfortunate because now we just get an empty shell, basically. These cases have become kind of pointless to, to have. Um, you know, these come right off if you really wanted to take it off. So yeah, there's really no specialty to these cases anymore, to be honest. And as a collector, it does kind of pay me because I like to have instruction manuals or some extra goodies, but it is what it is. Anyways, here is the back. Front, it's this pretty standard case. And I'll show you the back, but it's the same. I'm not even open this one up. It's it's gonna be the, exactly the same, just like a more purple card cartridge. But yeah, um, excited for this game. Hopefully, uh, it doesn't let a lot of people down. I I know that people have been very negative about it. People are always negative about Pokemon and their graphics, but you know, Pokemon is more about the story as well as having a fun background and it is about like graphics and stuff if you're playing a pokemon game for graphics you are in the wrong game uh, since the 90s pokemon graphics have not been anything revolutionary at all um you know they didn't even get 3d until x and y came out like in 2013 <laughs> so um yeah again uh thank you so much for watching hopefully uh you're able to pick this up again retails for around 120 us dollars if you're watching this uh, from a other region, maybe like PAL or uh, uh, Japanese or anything, I doubt it, but still. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys got the double pack, but this is the North American release. I am fairly confident that my friends in Canada are also getting this double pack or available to purchase uh, since EB Games slash GameStop is up there. Um, yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure this is every... I've, I've uh, contacted uh, some GameStops from other states and... This is everything everybody's getting. If your GameStop did something else, let me know. It'd be really cool to know. Uh, most retro video game stores gave didn't even get the pins, so all you get is just this double pack. But you know, uh, it's cool to have. I I'm glad to have every uh, two games every single time it comes out. It's just nice to have for collection purposes. But yeah, uh, hopefully you have a good one. Uh, see you soon. Bye bye.